Good morning, everybody. Minister Tom here. Mrs. Minister has told me to speed it up, so I'm going to do the best I possibly can. I'm going to be reading out of the book of Luke to give you the word itself on the death of Jesus. Just as a review, as we know, Christ had been taken by the Romans. He had been beaten, flogged, put a crown of thorns on his head, and caused to drag a heavy cross while extremely exhausted from the beatings up a hill to Calvary, where he was ultimately nailed and killed. As you know, Pilate let a criminal by the name of Barnabas go, who was convicted of an insurrection because the Jews said, crucify Jesus Christ. So Barnabas went free, but two other criminals went up the hill with him to be nailed to the cross to die. One of those men went and asked Jesus for forgiveness, knowing that he was the son of God and the Messiah. After being mocked by others, according to the book of, of Luke, people asked him to save himself if he truly was the son of God. Jesus ignored these people and stated, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Jesus remained on the cross for several hours, and when he died, a Roman centurion stuck a spear in his side to make sure water was running from his uh, lungs indicating that he had suffocated to death. At that point, God opened up the heavens. Earthquakes took place, an eclipse, high winds, heavy rain. God let it be known that he was displeased with the Jews and certainly the Romans for killing his son. But yet, in the death of Jesus came the new covenant between God and man. That, my friends, is the reason why we are Christians living under the new law rather than being Jewish, living under the old law. God forgives our sins openly. He blesses us every day. And the grace he provides to us is given freely. During these difficult times, I urge you to repent your sins. Speak to God. Just ask him for the forgiveness of the things that you have done. Anything that you can remember. He knows what you've done. All he asks from you is to ask for forgiveness and you will be set free of those sins. Friends, on this holy day, I say to you, love one another. Pray for one another and help one another. It is only us, the Christians, who will ultimately be saved, ultimately meet God in heaven and be judged for the things that we have done. I ask you to love one another, take care of one another, and most of all, pray to God and his son, Jesus Christ, for forgiveness. This is Minister Tom. Have a happy, happy Easter. Remember what Christ did for you to save your soul. I will see you soon.